book of Joshua, chapter 16. The lot fell to the children of Joseph from the Jordan by Jericho, by the waters of Jericho on the east to the wilderness that goes up from Jericho through the mountains to Bethel. Then went out from Bethel to Luz, passed along to the border of the Archites at Ataroth, and went down westward to the boundary of the Jephlites as far as the boundary of Lower Beth Horon to Gezer and it ended at the sea. So the children of Joseph, Manasseh and Ephraim took their inheritance. The border of the children of Ephraim according to their families was thus. The border of the inheritance on the east side was Ataroth, Ador, as far as Upper Beth Horon, and the border went out toward the sea on the north side of Mechamathath. Then the border went around eastward to Teanath, Shilho, and passed by it on the east of Janahoa. Then it went down from Janahova to Atara and Nara, reached to Jericho and came out at the Jordan. The border went out from Tapua westward on the book on the brook Kenan or Kena, and it ended at the sea. This was the inheritance of the tribe of the children of Ephraim, according to their families. The separate cities for the children of Ephraim were among the inheritance of the children of Manasseh, all the cities with their villages, and they did not drive out the Canaanites who dwelt in Gezer, but the Canaanites dwelt among the Ephraimites to this day and have become forced laborers. The book of Joshua chapter 17 there was also a lot for the tribe of Manasseh, for there, for he was the firstborn of Joseph, namely, for Machir, the firstborn of Manasseh, the father of Gilead, because he was a man of war. Therefore he was given Gilead and Bashan. And there, and there was a lot for the rest of the children of Manasseh, according to their families, for the children of Ebizer, the children of Helek, the children of Azrael, the children of Shechem, the children of Hefer, and the children of Shemida, these were the male children of Manasseh, the son of Joseph, according to their families. But Zolethahad, the son of Hefer, the son of Gilead, the son of Mechur, the son of Manasseh had no sons, but only daughters, and these are the names of the daughters Mala, Noah, Hagla, Milka, and Terza. And they came near before Eleazar the priest, before Joshua the son of Nun, and before the ruler, saying, The Lord commanded Moses to give us an inheritance among our brothers. Therefore, according to the commandment of the Lord, he gave them an inheritance among their father's brothers. Ten shares fell to Manasseh, besides the land of Gilead and Bashan, which were on the other side of the Jordan, because the daughters of Manasseh received an inheritance along his sons, and the rest of Manasseh's sons had the land of Gilead. And the territory of Manasseh was from Asher to Mechmethath, that lies east of Shechem, and the border went along south to the inhabitants of En Tapua. Manasseh had the land of Tapua, but Tapua on the border of Manasseh belonged to the children of Ephraim. 
and the boulder descended to the brook Kana, southward to the brook. The cities of Ephraim are among the cities of Manasseh. The border of Manasseh was the on the north side from the brook, and it ended at the sea. Southward, it it was Ephraim, Ephraim's north word it was Manasseh's and the sea was its border. Manasseh's territory was adjoining Asher on the north and Issachar on the east. And in Issachar and in Ashur, Manasseh had Beth Shean and its towns Ebim and its towns the inhabitants of the Dor and its towns, the inhabitants of Endor, and its towns, the inhabitants of Teanach, and its towns, and the inhabitants of Megiddo, and its towns, three highly regions. Yet the children of Manasseh could not drive out the inhabitants of those cities, but the Canaanites, Canaanites, Canaanites were determined to dwell in that land. And it happened when the children of Israel grew strong that they put the Canaanites to forced labor but did not utterly drive them out. Then the children of Joseph spoke to Joshua, saying, Why have you given us only one lot and one share up to inherit, since we are a great people inasmuch as the Lord has blessed us until now? So so Joshua answered them, If you are a great people, then go up to the forest country and clear a place for yourselves there in the land and in the land of the parasites and the giants, since the mountains of Ephraim are too confined for you. But the children of Joseph said, The mountain country is not enough for us, and all the Canaanites who dwell in the land of the valley have chariots of iron, both those who are of Beth Shean and its towns, and those who are of the valley of Jezreel. And Joshua spoke to the house of Joseph, to Ephraim and Manasseh, saying, You are a great people, and have, a, and have great power. You shall not have only one lot, but the mountain country shall be yours. Although it is wooded, you shall cut it down, and it, and its farthest extent, extent shall be yours. For you shall drive out the Canaanites, through the, though they have iron chariots, and they are strong. The book of Joshua, chapter 18. Now the whole congregation of the children of Israel assembled together at Shiloh, and set up the tabernacle of meeting there, and the land was subdued before them. But there remained among the children of Israel seven tribes which had not yet received their inheritance. Then Joshua said to the children of Israel, How long will you neglect to go and possess the land which the Lord God of your fathers has has given you? Take out from among you three men for each tribe, and I will send them. They shall rise and go through the land, survey it according to their inheritance, and come back to me. And they shall divide it into seven parts. Judah shall remain in their territory on the south, and the house of Joseph shall remain in their territory on the north. You shall therefore survey the land in seven parts, and bring the survey here to me, that I may cast lots for you here before the Lord our God. But the Levites have no part among you, for the priesthood of the Lord is their inheritance. And Gad, Reuben, and half the tribe of Manasseh have received their inheritance beyond the Jordan of the, on the east, which Moses, the servant of the Lord, gave them. Then the men who... Then the men aroused to go away, and Joshua charged those who went to survey the land, saying, Go walk through the land, survey it, and come back to me, that I may cast lots for you here before the Lord in Shiloh. 
So the men went past through the land and wrote the survey in a book in seven parts by cities, and they came to Joshua at the camp of Shiloh. Then Joshua cast lots for them in Shiloh before the Lord, and there Joshua divided the land to the children of Israel according to their divisions. Now the lot of the tribe of the children of Benjamin came up according to their families, and the territory of their lot came out between the children of Judah and the children of Joseph. Their border on the north side began at the Jordan, and the border went up to the side of Jericho on the north, and went up through the mountains westward. It ended at the wilderness of Beth Avon. The border went over from the, there toward Booz to the side of Luz, which is Bethel, southward, and the border descended to Ataroth, Adar, according to the er, Ataroth, Adar, near the hill that lies on the south side of the lower Beth Haran. Then the border extended around the west side to the south from the hill that lies before Beth Haran southward, and it ended at Kirja, Baal, which is Kirja, Jerin, a city of the children of Judah. This was the west side. The south side began at the end of Kirja, Jerin, and the border extended on the west and went out to the spring of the waters at, of Naphtoa. Then the border came down to the end of the mountain that lies before the valley of the son of Hinnom, Hinnom which is in the valley of the Rathaim. On the north descended to the valley of Hinnom, to the side of the Jebusite city on the south, and descended to En Rogal. And it went around from the north, went out in, went out to En Shemesh, and 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 extended towards Gali, Galila, which is before the ascent of Adumun, and descent and descended to the stone of Boan, the son of Reuben. Then it passed along toward the north side of. Arath, Arabah, and went down to Arabah, and the border passed along to the north side of the Beth Hagva. Then the border ended at the north bay at the Salt Sea at the south end of Jordan. This was the southern boundary. The Jordan was its border on the east side. This was the inheritance of the children of Benjamin according to its boundaries, all around according to their families. Now the cities of the tribe of the children of Benjamin according to their families were Jericho, Beth Hagla, Emek, Keziz, Beth Arabah, Zemmoraim, Bethel, Evim, Hora, Ophrah, Chephar, Ham, Moni, Ophni and Gaba, twelve cities with their villages, Gibeon, Ramon, Beeroth, Mizpah, Cherephah, Moza, Rechem, Irpil, Terala, Zela, Aleph, Jebus, which is Jerusalem, Gibeah, and Kirjath. Fourteen cities with their villages. This was the inheritance of the children of Benjamin, according to their families. Another challenging day with names of the cities. But this is just me pushing through. Because I definitely still want to do um, reading the Bible in a full year. So I'm on track. I'm excited. And uh, this wasn't a very good, exciting day to listen. But... If you did, I hope you've had a great day, morning, evening, or afternoon, whatever part of the day you've got this on. We will see you tomorrow. Bye now.